So the first thing I want us to do with this data file uh, is if you're kind of looking at it, um, let's just kind of look around. Let's figure out uh, what we can do in this software that could potentially help us. Um, one of the main things I like in these types of software when compared to Excel is the ability to zoom in, move around the sample much more easily. So uh, if you look up here, there's the picture of a uh, magnifying glass. So if that is selected, that's normal mode or F1, that will allow you to click and drag a box around a, a given area and to zoom into that. So you'll notice I kind of zoomed into this first peak that I see. Um, you can hit this button, which shows you the whole curve. So everything that was collected from the XRD. Uh, and so you can do that. Uh, so for example, let's say I go back and I click and drag and I just wanna see this first peak. So again, it's very easy with Excel, you have to mess around with the window constraints and I think it's kind of annoying. Uh, so this is a lot easier. The other thing that is very helpful with XRD data because it tends to be, um, you scan a very large area, but if you wanna look at one peak, you really have to zoom in on the X axis. So if I do this, I've got the first peak, uh, but then if I want to sort of scan through the others, I can hit these arrows. So this is scroll left, scroll right. So if I scroll right, you'll see that my x-axis down here is changing, or it's moving. Or if I go the other way, and it allows me to scroll and keep going higher and higher by hitting, in this case, the left, and you can see that I kind of can go through all my peaks, right? There's another peak. And so this can be helpful because if we're, let's take a look at these uh, these last ones here. So if I look at these, uh, the, way it's, the way it's now and the way you probably see it in Excel, you might just see one peak here, one peak here, one peak here, one peak here, one peak here. But if we zoom in, to this last one, right? It looks a little fuzzy, but when you look in, it's clearly looks like two peaks that are very close together, right? And if you go to some of these other ones as well, and the, and there I use the um, zoom to get to the, the fit vertically uh, so that you can see both peaks. You can see it's clearly two. And so if I keep doing this, right? Um, it just allows me, the first thing, I, I can just kind of visually inspect and see what this looks like. And you can see that even though it may look like one peak, if you really zoom in, you have a lot of data points here and it clearly looks like it's a combination of two peaks. So that's why I really like software like this that just allows you to zoom and look around the sample very easily. So that's some of the first stuff that you can do with the software is just use the zoom features, uh, move around and, and see if that, uh, see what you're actually looking at with these various peaks. Because if you're in this view, you're collecting a lot of data points between one degree and you wanna be able to see that. And so really use these zoom features so that you can truly see what's going on in here and look at these different features. And that's gonna be the first thing that you wanna do.